This is likely causing an outrage right now, but breaking news just out, according to Yahoo Finance and Business Insider, there are 13.4% more billionaires since the pandemic. The pandemic has created 13.4% more billionaires. Billionaire wealth is on the rise. Now, I wanted to A, report this to you as breaking news as someone who comments on these money-related subjects. And B, give you a balanced view of this situation while the internet kicks off on this. So first off, let me give you the details and the research. Then let me give you some things I think people are going to be upset about and then some possible solutions. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is right? Uh, Biden, President Biden says this simply is not fair. Do you agree with that? What are the solutions? Should there be a big wealth tax grab? Let me know. So here's the stats. Billionaires are up 13.4% in 2020, according to Yahoo Finance, which is research from WealthX. The pandemic has been a windfall to billionaire wealth. There are now 3,000 billionaires. Billionaire wealth is up 5.7% in total, uh, which is actually a 10 trillion rise in billionaire wealth. It's up 13.4% since 2019. There's a new wave of younger billionaires now. However, industries like travel and entertainment have been hit pretty hard. Um, now, on the other side of it, uh, workers apparently have lost 3.7 trillion in revenue, according to the ILO. Poverty in the US is apparently up 1%. Median household income, sorry, yeah, poverty up 1%. Uh, uh, and median household income down 2.9%. Now, of course, they're going to link that to the billionaires taking the money off them. Um, money doesn't work like that. Money is not in finite supply. Well, technically it's finite, um, but it's relatively infinite, especially with quantitative easing. <laughs> um, so I'd like to know your thoughts about this in the comments. Um, I've got some thoughts on this because I think there's going to be quite a scandal on this, but I'm not necessarily sure that people have a balanced view of the situation. So Biden says it's simply not fair. I wonder how many billionaires funded his campaign. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people are saying there should be a wealth tax. How about uh, politicians manage the taxation revenue that they're getting better? Here in the UK, they spent billions on an app that caused absolute havoc, not just on the app and the building of the app, but the, the related, um, you know, services and necessities and management of this app, this track and trace app. Uh, and could those billions have been used better? I think they could. So instead of bitching and moaning from the president of the US about the unfairness of billionaires making more money, instead of actually finding out why, what about if they collaborated with the billionaires? What about if they uh, got advice from the billionaires on how to manage money well? Because let's be honest, billionaires have figured out how to manage money well. Um, I've got some thoughts. Uh, well, actually, I've got some research and experience on why billionaires are billionaires and why there is a bigger divide between the, the rich and the poor, as people keep saying, um, and how you can actually take this and what you can do with this and how can it benefit you and others. First off, hit the share button if you'd like me to comment on more of these topical money related um, issues that are going on in the world. Um, sh some people say there shouldn't be any billionaires. We don't need billionaires. But if you put a cap on earnings... Um, let's say you put a cap at one billion. Well, what would um, Jeff Bezos do after he became a billionaire? And what would Elon Musk do after they became a billionaire? Oh, what, just stop producing? Yeah, we've hit a billion. We'll stop producing cars. You know, we'll stop producing uh, e-commerce. No, if you put a cap on wealth, then all you do is put a cap on production. And people don't get this. So that's one thing that's been muted. I saw someone saying that there should be a, a cap of a billion. We don't need more billionaires. But it's the billionaires that do most of the production. You know, most of the things that you uh, eat or that are packaged or your amenities and your, um, you know, good living standards, if and when you have them, um, the, the companies behind and the people behind those companies, they are the billionaires and they have the greatest amount of output and production. 
So I'm going to share with you now, one, two, three, four, five, six reasons why the rich get richer and, and maybe therefore the poor get poorer. See if you can learn something from it because I like to be productive and proactive and see what you can learn from. People follow me because, you know, my mission is to help as many people on this planet start and scale their business and get better financial knowledge, education, to make wealth, but also share and distribute wealth, to have that fine balance between making more and giving more. Um, so let me just quickly summarize what's gone on and then I'll give you some solutions. So billionaires are up 13.4% in 2020, according to a research um, study from WealthX. The pandemic is apparently a windfall to billionaire wealth. That's not the full story, I think. But there are now 3,000 billionaires for the first time. Billionaire wealth is up 5.7% in total or $10 trillion, up 13.4% since 2019. That's a big yearly rise. There's a new wave of younger billionaires. That being said, travel and other industries like entertainment have been hit very hard. Um, so billionaires have lost out there. Apparently workers um, have lost 3.7 trillion, according to the ILO. Poverty is up 1% in the UK. I don't think that, sorry, in the US. I'm not sure that's necessarily related to billionaires, but a median household income is down 2.9%, probably more really to do with the pandemic. Biden says that this, um, you know, increase in billionaire wealth is simply not fair, but I wonder how his campaign was funded. <laughs> um, and a lot of people are calling on a wealth tax and taxing the billionaires. I just think that that causes a problem. I suggest that the politicians manage the um, tax revenue that they're getting better and stop wasting it and maybe stop some of the um, shenanigans going on, etc. Um, uh, and maybe they get advice from the billionaires on how to um, scale and create um, production over consumption uh, and manage money very well. I think that, that instead of alienating the most successful people on this planet, get them on your advisory panel and work together. Because actually, you know, it's a big myth that billionaires just want to take, take, take. You know, of course, billionaires want to contribute. I'm sure, many billionaires would give advice to um, politicians on how to manage, manage money well and how to run the economy more like a business. Because, um, you know, businesses make profit. <laughs> um, OK, so why are the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer? Why are we getting more and more billionaires? Well, one, because um, billionaires are creators uh, and people who aren't are consumers. So if you want to make more wealth, you need to go from consumption to production or creation. And many um, people who became more wealthy through the pandemic was because they increased, was, were, um, is because they create, uh, increased production. So producers tend to make and create and retain wealth and consumers tend to erode and lose wealth or consume wealth. So if you become more of a creator than a consumer, a producer, then you're likely to create more wealth. Uh, and just because there's a lockdown doesn't mean that that can't be done. It can't be done in some industries like travel, but it can in others. I'll come back to that in a moment, by the way. And please hit the share button if you find any of my content useful. The next is the law of conservation of energy. Um, so the law of conservation of energy states that energy can't be created or destroyed. It merely changes form. So billionaires have figured how to change the form of energy and money. Um, so people think in a pandemic or a, a recession that uh, money is destroyed or energy, essentially energy is destroyed. It's not. It can't be destroyed. Um, it has to be moved because the energy is not created or destroyed. It simply changes form according to the law of conservation of energy. So are you looking at how you can change the form of energy, the solutions and the opportunities from the pandemic? It's essentially just a redistribution of products and services and money. And, you know, when it comes to recessions and now, of course, we've learned from pandemics and lockdowns, um, money doesn't disappear because it's energy. Money is energy. Money just simply changes form and goes to different industries. And of course, the successful billionaires right now have figured out what that new industry and that new energy movement is. Another law of energy states that a body in motion tends to stay in motion and a body at rest tends to stay at rest. So if you're already successful and you're already wealthy, therefore you have a body in motion. You have velocity and momentum of powerful energy, like a truck pull when the truck is moving fast. That is hard to stop. So the more successful and wealthy you become and the more of products and services you create, you have this body in motion. And it tends to stay in motion. It has velocity and momentum. Whereas you could say less um, producing people or the, the poverty 
Um, and I'm talking about first world poverty and being skint and broke, because obviously third world and developing world poverty, they don't have the same opportunity. But that is a body at rest. So it tends to stay at rest. It's harder to move. It's harder to start the truck pull. So you need to get some momentum going for you so that you can then have this energy behind you of a body in motion tends to stay in motion. The next thing is billionaires know how to solve problems. And instead of saying, our oh, pandemic, lockdown, things are worse, it's harder, it's not fair, I'm being screwed over, you know, the system is fucked, you know, there's a, a big controversy and scandal going on, there's a conspiracy. This is what, you know, people who uh, are maybe less successful um, and less personally responsible, that's the mindset they tend to get into. Whereas billionaires and very successful people, they go into problem solving mode and they just know there's a new problem, therefore there's a new solution. So basically, when you're given new problems, the upside is new solutions. And when you have new problems or global problems, most people struggle with that because it's a change and people don't like change. Whereas when you pivot into solution focused, production focus, then you have a great new opportunity, which is my next point. Billionaires see opportunity in everything. Whereas people who are maybe less producing or less successful, they see problems and difficulties in everything. There are many new opportunities right now. Social media, the internet, e-commerce. Look, Jeff Bezos has done pretty well. It's not his fault unless he created the bloody pandemic. I'm sure he didn't, but you never know. Um, but, you know, you can't blame him for doing well out of the lockdown. He had a business model that worked for that. But Uber Eats has done really well. Um, Deliveroo has done really well. Um, secondhand car dealers have done really well. Lamborghini has done really well. So many businesses have done really well out of this. But they didn't get given it on a plate. They had to see the opportunity. So are you seeing the opportunity or are you seeing the downside? Because everything has an upside and a downside. And people who've done well out of the pandemic and the lockdown saw the upside in the downside. They didn't see it as a, a one-sided event. No event is one-sided. Let me know what you think of this content so far. Hit the share button if you think this is a useful thing to discuss. I think this has to be discussed. I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. So my question to you, to everyone, is you're going to hate on the rich? You're going to hate on the billionaires? Are you going to go, yeah, we've got to tax them more and more and more? I mean, I worked out pretty much 70% of my income and expenditure is taxed. So of what I earn net and what I spend on the net of my earnings, pretty much 70% of that is tax. That's crazy. That is crazy. How's that fair? <laughs> um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Let me do a quick summary for you, for those of you that have just tuned in. Billionaires are up 13.4% in 2020. Um, there's a, a Yahoo Finance article that just came out. It's breaking news today. This is re research from WealthX. The pandemic is apparently a windfall to billionaire wealth. Hmm, maybe a sexy title there. But there are now 3,000 billionaires. Billionaire wealth is up 5.7%. I say that's because of in, in, increased production, increased creativity, increased resourcefulness, um, increased opportunism, um, increasing upside in downside. Uh, that's 10 trillion in increased wealth um, from the 5.7% um, total. That's up 13.4% since 2019. There's now a new, younger wave of billionaires. Industries like travel and entertainment have been hit hard. Apparently, workers lost 3.7 trillion. Um, but look, a pandemic's going to cause that, according to the ILO. Poverty's up 1%, median household income down 2.9%. Um, Biden says it's simply not fair, all these, um, this billionaire increase in wealth, but I wonder who funded his campaigns. I say stop wasting the taxpayer's money, start investing the taxpayer's money better, start producing from the taxpayer's money and solving from the taxpayer's money instead of, you know, charging more and 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 more. I wonder if there was a full audit of the tax accounts and how the money was spent in HMRC and IRS. Who audits the HMRC? Who audits the IRS? Ooh, I wonder what we'd find. <laughs> um, but the reason that the rich get richer and the poor get poor and there's more billionaires is because the millionaires and the billionaires create, whereas the you know, people at the other end of the spectrum, they consume. So if you want to learn from this, because you can either bitch and moan about it or you can learn from it.
it's kind of your choice, isn't it? I'm, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to tell you what you should do. But people follow me because they want to start and scale their business and get better financial education and knowledge. They want to know more, make more and give more money. So I'm looking at always turning these these topical discussions into opportunities for you and looking to have an outcome and a solution. So how could you create more? How could you serve more? How could you solve more? Uh, and you will win more despite the economy uh, and the pandemic. And what if there's a pandemic 3.0 or 17.0? You need to be ready. You need to be really ready for that. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can't be created or destroyed. It simply changes form. So the successful people and the wealthy people through these challenging times have changed the form of energy. They have pivoted their products or, or services or created more products or services that work better in a pandemic or a lockdown. So are you changing energy? Because people think in a, in a recession, money just disappears like it can just be destroyed. No, no, no. It just keeps moving form. It just keeps moving and flying because money is energy. How are you UV, using and, and changing the form of energy into income? Um, another law of energy states that a body in motion tends to stay in motion and a body at rest tends to stay at rest. So those that are already successful and wealthy are likely to get more velocity and more compounding because that truck is moving fast in the truck pull. So if you start your um, journey towards wealth and success and contribution, the more momentum you have, the harder it is to stop. And when things change, like recessions and pandemics, you'll likely become more successful because you are a body in motion. Whereas if you're really struggling and you're on the breadline and you are you essentially from an energy perspective, you are um, a body at rest. It will be really hard, much harder to move that like the truck is hard to get pulled in world strongest man. Um, so billionaires know how to solve um, meaningful problems that we all need, you know, main supply chains um, at vast scale. So if you want to uh, create more wealth, you need to influence and inspire and educate and serve Vast numbers of people, much more than you already are. Billionaires know how to take opportunities. Do you? Are you taking opportunities or are you just seeing all the downside? Um, and billionaires know how to see upside in downside because every event has an equal upside to downside. So therefore, the pandemic and the lockdown, there's an equal upside to you. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please hit the share button if you found this um, information useful. Breaking news is that billionaires are up 13.4% in 2020. Um, so definitely interesting times right now. I'd love your thoughts in the comments and please hit the share button um, if you want me to continue to talk about these topical subjects around money and challenge your thinking and get you to see another side from maybe the, um, you know, prevailing mass common sense that I don't know how productive it is. There's going to be big outrage on this all over social media today. There's going to be people out there saying we don't need any more billionaires. By the way, I'm not a billionaire, so I don't have an ulterior motive to teach you about it or to say, you know, to protect the billionaires. I'm not a billionaire, but, uh, you know, I do like the idea of the, what well, you know, the American dream, the fact that you can start from nothing and you can be successful and build wealth and um, create and share your wealth and you can produce um, and you can employ and you can generate tax revenue, you can generate profits and, you know, you can make something great of your life. I really believe in this as a concept. And so certain financial structures like the limited company, which protects your liability, is a great innovation for us to um, create. And entrepreneurs are the great risk takers who create. Um, and you, you know, you might have some more socialist mindset individuals who would say, well, it's the workers that, you know, make all the money, the workers do all the production. But who took the risk to start the company, to buy the machinery, you know, to hire all the people, to be responsible for all the HR and the legal? Who, who took that initial risk? Who created that entity called a company that the employers employed in, employed in in the first place? That would be the entrepreneurs. So, yeah, just some thoughts there. Hit the share button. Let's get this message out to the masses and let's get a more balanced view on this and let's look at solutions rather than problems. Government, stop wasting the taxpayers' money. Start learning from the billionaires. <laughs> right, okay, thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button. And remember this, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.